What I'm about to do is make a unique comparison of two of the top tier FPV simulators, Trip FPV and Uncrashed FPV, and share some impressive reports about these two from a unique perspective. I know some of you might disagree with me if I say one is better than the other, because in this scenario, we're looking at two possible different communities of FPV drone pilots founded by these simulators with divided opinions. But hey, you will be amazed at what I'm about to show you. And believe me when I say, especially if you are a beginner in FPV, you won't regret watching this video. So stay tuned. About half a year ago, when I made the popular video, 5 best FPV drone simulators, Trip FPV was in the fourth place, whereas Uncrashed won the second place. But ever since, Trip FPV had a significant update where everything changed from the simulator physics, drone dynamics, setup and configuration, interface graphics, performance and stability, and so much more that made me think. Is this the best one nowadays? Can it be challenged by Velocity Drone, Uncrashed FPV, or even Area Drone 2023? But let's leave those two aside now and talk strictly about Trip FPV and Uncrashed and compare in depth everything is to know about these two FPV simulators starting with the graphics. In terms of graphics, Trip FPV is a clear winner. To be honest, I really love how Trip turned out to be and the details you see behind this FPV simulator. But Uncrashed is not bad at all. In fact, I could say that it is not too far behind Trip graphics. However, with great graphics comes heavy computer resources management. In this case, Trip is a very resource-hungry simulator, while Uncrashed is not. In terms of comparing Trip with any other FPV simulators, it is somewhere at the top of the line, maybe challenged by Area Drone 2023 in terms of graphics. But still, no other FPV simulators have better graphics than Trip FPV. Uncrashed is still somewhere at the top of the line. I love the graphics behind Uncrashed and how well it's optimized but Trip remains a clear winner here. Now, what about performance? I do have a gaming computer. I'm currently recording these simulators with a GTX 3060 with 12GB video RAM, while Trip FPV runs smoothly for me if I put every single graphic detail to maximum, the frame rate will drop under 60fps on most maps. I have limited the frame rate to 60fps because of my monitor and smoothness. But without VSync, I could barely get 70-75 FPS. You can get this frame rate with this computer on AAA games like Cyberpunk or other high-end games with high or max details. So, although with recent updates, Trip managed to improve the simulator performance. But if you're looking to have great graphics, you definitely have to install it on a mid or high-end gaming computer. Trip FPV is also available on Mac computers. I have run it on my MacBook Air M2 for a while, but the performance is really terrible. To make it playable, you'll have to drop down the resolution by a lot and set the video details towards a minimum. At the same time, Uncrashed FPV on a Mac is surprisingly smooth. The performance is certainly much better. But installing the Uncrashed on a gaming PC or a simple PC or laptop with a decent video card will guarantee you a very smooth performance of the simulator, even if you push details towards the maximum. Somehow, Uncrashed team managed to optimize this simulator towards the extreme end of the spectrum in terms of how little resources you need to run it, at least compared to Trip. So, Uncrashed is a real winner here, especially if you have a lower end PC. But be aware that both FPV simulators will need a computer or laptop with a dedicated video card or a MacBook with M1 or M2 CPU to run. None will work on an integrated Intel graphic card, at least not the way they are supposed to do. Ok, what about the simulator effects and realism? When practicing with a drone in FPV simulators, we will love some effects when crashing and hitting trees, how the drone reacts to the environment, etc. Until recently, Trip FPV was absolutely terrible at effects, especially when crashing a drone in there. But this changed, and now I love how your Trip FPV drone 
reacts when crashing, but Uncrashed nailed it big time. While Trip FPV is good, Uncrashed has the best effects found in any FPV simulator. Now, let's talk a bit about drones. Uncrashed has no drones to choose from. It has a standard drone configuration, which you can change to match some FPV drone profiles and make it act as you fly different type of FPV drones but it's not as responsive as having a locked-in drone profile to choose from. For instance, indeed, you can change the size, weight, propeller size, battery, and so much more, but so you can do with Strip FPV. If we think, maybe we don't need to have dozens of drones like Liftoff or Very Lost Drone, and perhaps this is what we need. A basic drone configuration you can fully tweak to create something you like flying. On the other hand, Trip FPV does not have as many drones in its back pocket, but it has a few though. Each drone profile is locked in and you can create a copy from where you can change so much that will get lost for hours behind Trip's new drone editor. It's simply unimaginable, but we'll talk about that a bit later. So, Trip FPV has a few drones and it's a clear winner in front of Uncrashed FPV. Maps Trip FPV has only 4 maps, but each map is in fact an entire territory with hundreds of spots and places where you can practice and many more events to keep you engaged. What I love about Trip is the ability to teleport your drone to any point on the map and even set a starting point there so you can practice in a place you found over and over. That's super great because the maps are mega large and is the best FPV simulator to practice long-range flight. On the other hand, Uncrashed has many maps, but each is quite small. The maps are standard, like most FPV simulators such as Liftop, that open you way to practice in different environments, though. Still, it won't compare with the massive map size found in Trip FPV. Since the December 2023 Big Trip update, the maps has been updated with new content, so you won't get bored though. So I guess in this case I can say Trip FPV is a winner, even if Uncrashed has many more maps than Trip FPV. I love how big the maps of Trip FPV are and how much content is in one. Okay, now we get to the important stuff. Simulator physics. About half a year ago I created that video which we talked about early, about the top 5 FPV drone simulators. In that video. Trip was in 4th place and Uncrashed was in the 2nd place, where we did mention that. But ever since December 2023, when the Trip FPV had that big update, the simulator has entirely changed, including its physics. The downside is that the gravity feels slightly too strong, but you can decrease your drone weight to counter that. The upside is that Trip FPV currently has one of the best simulator physics nowadays and I feel is getting even better than Velocidrone, which was the best for many, many years. I know some people may not agree with me, and I'm not looking for any backfire, but Trip FPV Simulator Physics is much better than Uncrashed at this time, and probably much better than any other simulators I have tried, and believe me, i tried nearly all of them. Uncrashed is still more than decent, in fact, is it better than most other FPV simulators out there and not far beyond Trip FPV? With Uncrash, you can also change the simulator physics where if you know what you're doing, you can make it as real as flying a drone in real life. An FPV drone, of course. Alright, what about drone dynamics and customizability? Uncrashed has no drones to pick up from, as we already mentioned. But the drone you currently have can be fully customized to react like a smaller or larger quad with weight and a bit of tuning which can be helpful if you know what you're doing. You can also change the rates and a few stuff here and there, but compared with Trip, it pales. The drone flies quite realistically in Uncrashed, and I love how the drone responds to throttle input, drag and even when freestyling. But sometimes I feel it's way too smooth. I mean, let me be honest for you. An FPV drone does not fly as smoothly as this in real life. Not now, not ever. Trip has some top tier drone dynamics and can be customized on the entire Betlafly setup, from filters, PAD and tanning to 1 million other settings. It became the best FPV simulators in the world, 
when we're looking at how much you can customize an FPV drone, even better than ballistic drone. This opens the world for many new possibilities to try PIDs and setups in trip before pushing them out on a real FPV drone. I'm speechless at how Trip managed to implement all the settings, but I know they have worked a lot with the Betaflight team to make this possible. Undoubtedly, Trip FPV is the best in this category. I don't even have to mention on how well the drone flies and reacts on different setups. It's simply one of the best simulators out there in terms of drone dynamics. Now, what about freestyle racing and different kind of events you can find in these simulators? Well, let's say that both simulators are super good to use and practice for freestyle, but none of them are made with racing in mind. I mean, they both have events like racings or challenges with different difficulties, but they'll be it. You can find on the map with both FPV simulators, like those kind of challenges. However, Trip also has a dedicated racing environment, but it falls behind liftoff and DRL racing options. In terms of events, in Uncrashed you can follow some drifting or racing cars that are found on some maps. It's a great approach to train as such, but in Trip FPV, this is super extended and you can find much more than that. From racing and off-road cars to dirt bikes, hot air balloons, skiing, paragliding and other aerial events, Trip FPV is much more complex to practice with an FPV drone and follow the subject. This makes Trip a clear winner in terms of events and racings. As for freestyle, it's a tie. Oh, did I mention that Uncrashed FPV also has hot air balloons? Okay, what about which simulators is more beginner friendly? With so many options and complex drone customization, especially better flight and tuning, Trip FPV is a lot more complicated for a total beginner who just wants to start getting into flying FPV drones. Uncrashed FPV is in fact kind of as simple as it can get. Don't get me wrong here, even as a beginner, Trip FPV is super great and if you choose some pre-setup drones, you can learn just as fun as with Uncrashed and other FPV simulators. But, I could say in this case, the point has to go towards Uncrashed FPV because it's much more simple and beginner friendly. Uh, let's talk a little bit about price and the overall winner. I hate to say that. Okay, now, both are paid FPV simulators. None of them have additional add-ons to purchase in order to unlock content and you can find both simulators on Steam Uncrashed FPV is around $15, while Trip FPV is about $17. Price can change and may be different depending on the country you're looking to get any of this. So there is isn't much difference. Anyway, but which one do I recommend for beginners and FPV pilots looking to practice in FPV simulators? Well, and now comes the backfire. My overall recommendation for choosing a winner will be Trip FPV, but I'm gonna say it's not that far from Uncrashed. However, get Trip FPV only if you have a decent gaming computer with a dedicated video card or you may have performance issues. On the other hand, if you have a MacBook M1 or M2 or a lower end PC, Uncrashed will work much more smoothly and have better visual effects per the exact graphic requirements. But be aware that none of the FPV simulators will work well if you have an older PC with no dedicated graphics card, as we mentioned before. This is it. With this, I say thank you very much for watching. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe for more FPV and simulators content. I hope to see you around.